Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good. Andy from Blue Collar Corner. I'm with Omar, who is in support of the Ground Zero Mosque. Omar, tell me why. Uh, well, Islam is a religion of, of peace and tolerance, and to say that putting a mosque here would in some way support terrorism or in any way be, uh, you know, disrespectful to the victims of 9-11, I'd like to remind people that Muslims died in 9-11 as well. I mean, there's a billion Muslims in the world, and you can't, you can't say that all Muslims are terrorists or all Muslims are against peace just because a few are crazy and radical. That's, it's the same as saying you can't put a church in Oklahoma City because Timothy McVeigh was Christian and bombed you know, the federal building in Oklahoma City. It just, it just doesn't make sense. Okay, can I stop you? I, I, can't, I can't agree with that analogy because Oklahoma, you can build whatever kind of place of worship you want. What if we decided to build a Christian church in Saudi Arabia? What would happen? Well, okay, so the, the, this... You know what I mean? You realize yes. the... Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but we are in America, not Saudi Arabia, and America is founded on freedom of religion. You know, that's why, what, the, the Quakers Agreed. came over. Agreed. And so in America, how can you be hypocritical and say, we'll let you, you know, be free to practice your religion, and then, oh, you can't build a mosque here? I mean, as it, 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 it's, it's a mosque. It's not... It's, it's a peaceful place, place of worship. Okay, and I appreciate people who feel that way. Yeah. But my thing is... Islam is more than just a religion. I mean, any Islamic country, it's almost as if it's a combination of political hierarchy and religion. And it's the only religion that has that quality. I think that's why, you know, people are having a, a, a problem with it. So, so what I'd like to remind people is that just because... Saudi Arabia has an Islamic government and they say they govern with Islam that doesn't mean that they're the true Islam doesn't mean the way Egypt does it Pakistan does it I think one of the big qualities about Islam is that it's it's a very personal I think all religions are like that it's very personal you decide what you want to do and, and just because some government decides to practice it that way and decides and makes all these rules does not mean that's true Islam number one number two Right now, yes, there are a lot of Muslim countries that integrate politics and religion together. But, you know, 500 years ago in Europe, it was Christianity, you know, church and state. We were like the founders, America was, of separating church and state. So, I mean, let's look at countries like Turkey. Turkey's a Muslim country, and they have separated church and state. Um, and so, you know... Islam is in this period that Christianity was 500 years ago where a lot of countries are combining them but that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that I mean I could say the same thing about Christianity and say that oh Christianity is more than religion because in the past there have been countries that put politics and, and religion together that's that's it's not a fair uh, well I think I think it exists more within the Islam in my right opinion now, yes. my opinion right uh, at this day, yeah. okay yeah. now two quick points yeah. the funding for this the Iman hasn't been forthcoming at all about where the funding is coming from. Number two is he would not condemn uh, groups like Hezbollah or Hamas or the Muslim Brotherhood as terrorist groups. Now, a lot of people have problems with that. Now, can you understand that? I, 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 I do understand that, and I'm not, I'm not too familiar on the, on the specifics of what the Imam said, um, but I, I, I would like to... Just to clarify, I, I don't think, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, most Muslims, the majority, are peaceful, loving people. I mean, there are just a few radicals in the world, a few, you know, a couple thousand, a hundred thousand, whatever it is, out of a billion. And so we need to put this in, we need to, we need to put this in context and realize that, yes, there are some radicals, but don't let what they do affect your judgment of the entire population. Okay. Omar, thank you for your time. You. Appreciate it. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> How'd you um, feel? You all right? Yeah. yeah.